All right, let's stop losing our emails. It's always super frustrating when you switch email providers and you don't have your emails anymore. And then you go to search for something and it's not there. So let's just not do that. Um, so what we're gonna talk about today is Google Takeout. Uh, and what Google gives you when you do export your emails is an inbox file. And how do you work with that? We're gonna go over that in two different ways, whether on your Windows machine or on your Mac computer. Before we jump in, I do wanna remind you guys, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. It really means a lot to me and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you do wanna continue this conversation, you can just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and respond. And also, if you wanna catch me live, I do stream on Twitch every Thursday and Sundays. So go ahead and hop on over there and you can talk to me in chat and let me know if this video helped you or not. So let's go ahead and dive in. So with Google Takeout, first things first, we need to make sure that we have a Google Takeout file. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go ahead and go over and I'm gonna show you how to quickly get a Google Takeout file. Um, if you already have one, feel free to look in the description below and click that timestamp for what you're looking for, whether it's Mac or Windows and how to access it. But we're gonna go ahead and hop over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to get that Google Takeout file. All right, guys, so first we're gonna to go to takeout.google.com. And if you can't see these links, all of them will be posted in the description below, should you need them. So what you're gonna do here is you're going to choose anything that you want to export. Uh, for the sake of this, we're gonna deselect all, because really all I'm gonna export this time is our mail, because that's what we're focused on right now. So we're gonna scroll down, click mail, and I want all of my mailbox data files included and in multiple formats. Really, the one that I want is inbox, but we're gonna go ahead and export both just in case. So scroll down, click next step, and you're gonna export it once. You could also schedule it if you're afraid of losing files, which this is just a good general practice for a good backup for your email. Um, and we're gonna do a zip, and should it go over two gigabytes, it will create another file, and we'll talk, and then you can import both files when that comes up. But mine is not bigger than two, and then you go ahead and click create export. Now that we've created Create Export, what's really important here and sometimes frustrating is it says that it can take a long time, possibly hours or days to complete. So be patient, you'll get an email when it's done, then come back and we can finish this. You can see here that my export is complete um, and I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Once you click this download link, it will prompt you to log in. Uh, so go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, once you've gotten past that login, go ahead and click that final download link. It might even automatically do it like I did for mine. And once that's done, we will start the import. All right, guys, now that we have our takeout files, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you first on a Windows machine. Um, if you have a Mac, go ahead and look in that description for the timestamp and it will jump you forward. But what's really important on the Windows machine is we're gonna use Mozilla Thunderbird, but their current version they have on their website is version 72, and that doesn't work with the plugin we need. So we're actually going to put a direct link in our description below. Make sure you use that if you're trying to do this with Mozilla Thunderbird. Um, this link will take you to version 71. It's a download from their website. It's not from anywhere else, so it is safe. Um, and then once that's downloaded, we're gonna hop onto the computer and I'm gonna show you all of that. So I'll see you guys probably can't read it, but the link up here, it's a fairly long one. So like I said, it's in the description below. Um, but what I'm going to use is this Thunderbird set up the exe file, and that's going to download. And then you're going to click and open the up the executable. And just like any other installer, you're going to go through the install process. All right, and now that Thunderbird is installed, we're gonna go ahead and just cancel this because we don't actually need a profile. So we're gonna skip integrations. And what we need to look at is we're gonna click the Alt button that brings up this toolbar up here. Go ahead and click on Tools, click on Add-ons. And what we're gonna search for under Extensions is Import Export Tool NG. And this is what we wanna to add to Thunderbird. We're gonna click Add. And we're gonna restart now. So once it restarts, we're gonna go ahead and actually create that profile.
So you notice when I was creating the profile that it automatically filled in all the settings. So it actually makes it really easy. You just have to give permissions. Now that it's filled up, we're going to click on local folders. And at this point, when you click alt tools, import MG, you're going to import inbox file and it pops up. We're going to import directly one or more. Let's go ahead and click. Okay. And mine actually went up directly to the location of the inbox file. Um, remember it's that zip file that you have to unzip and then you can go into it. And this is the folder that unzip to. So you go to take out mail and it's all mail, including spam and trash and click open. And now that it's there, you can click on it and you'll see there's 12,000 items in my mailbox that was exported. And that is how on a windows machine, you can get to your inbox files. All right, if you don't already have it, you do want to open up Google Takeout on your Mac to get the files if you don't already have it. So go ahead and go to takeout.google.com again. Go ahead and click on download and get that file. Once you have it, you do want to unzip the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on that zip and it's going to unzip it for you. And it'll create this folder down here called Takeout. Once you have that folder on a Mac, it's super easy. All you have to do, open up your mail app, go up to file and we're going to import a mailbox and there's a super nifty radio button right there that says files in inbox format go ahead and click continue and go to your downloads and if you press on t it'll take you right down to the t's and take out click on mail and all mail including trash and spam and deleted items and everything in your inbox that was there so go ahead and click choose and it's going to start the import so we're going to wait for that and once that's done, I'll show you where it shows up. All right, guys, now that the import's done, go ahead and click done. And then what's going to happen is going to show up in this import folder right here. If you don't see this import folder, hover over on my Mac and it was probably hidden like this and it has the number here. So go ahead and click show and then on import, click this little drop down. And then this is the folder where all your emails are. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And there's all my emails that were in my G Suite account. And that's how you do it on a Mac. Pretty simple. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you get the files you needed and the emails to the places that needed to be. Uh, if this did help you out, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. Um, and I will see you guys next time for the next pro tip from Next Tech Consultants. But until then, I hope you have a great day.